In this video, I'm going to show you how you set up your outputs inside of Contact so it can work properly from within Cubase. So, for example, let's say we want to have 16 stereo channels as outputs and we want 60 mono channels or maybe we want 32 stereo channels. How do we go about setting this all up? Now, when you're loading contact for the first time, something to be aware of is that you're going to be using the default configuration and it can be a little bit confusing if you're trying to set multiple outputs for things like drum libraries, for example, GGD, or um, if you need more than the available stereo tracks which are listed for when you've got lots of patches loaded up uh, from an orchestral library. Now, something to bear in mind before we start creating our outputs is that for the full version of Contact 6, you have 64 mono outputs. And out of those 64 mono outputs, we can create stereo tracks, around tracks, or whatever we desire, but it's always going to be out of the available 64, okay? So with that in mind, let's start by creating 16 stereo tracks, and then we'll create 16 mono tracks. To do this, we go up to the tab here at the top, Make sure we check outputs and then when the mixer shows up just click this little plus sign here and you'll get the outputs tab now the two main things to understand are quantity and number of channels so quantity refers to how many faders we're going to be creating or how many channels we're going to be creating and number of channels means out of the 64 mono outputs how many of those mono outputs are we going to sum to this one channel to create the track okay so currently for every two mono outputs we will create one fader in the mixer so that means we'll create a stereo track and we can increase this up to 16 if we like so we can use 16 of the available 64 mono outputs and sum them to one track in the mixer now obviously we don't want to do that i want to work in stereo and two monos make one stereo channel so we're going to up this top value to create 16 channels in the mixer and then here we're going to select our host output and this is going to be stereo one and two because we're doing this from fresh now ascending output assignment make sure that's checked delete existing channels before creating new ones check that and then make this default your default configuration leave that for the time being okay and then click ok now what will happen is contact will think for a second you might get a little pop-up box saying okay yes no uh, and then once that's happened you'll notice that you'll now have 16 channels in the mixer which are all listed as stereo okay and what you'll notice at the bottom is it will also say something like one two three four five six and these are the numbers for the individual mono channels which are being used out of the 64 and you know have been summed to create this one fader in the mixer now what we want to do is create 16 mono tracks as well and what I need to make note of is this here so we're going to be going from 11 and 12 of the aux outputs so if we go and click on the plus sign again and then we're going to change this to one because we're going to be making this mono we're going to create another 16 faders in the mixer and then if we go to not connected and then scroll down to where it says 11 obviously here because this is using 11 12 for the aux we'll click on 11 and then we'll check on make this your default configuration the part where it says delete existing channels before creating new ones leave that unchecked because what will happen if you check that now it'll delete all those stereo outputs we've just created and all we want to do is add some mono uh, outputs as well so we're going to click ok pop-up box will appear we just click OK and now contact has not only added our 16 mono tracks to the 16 stereo tracks which are also created but it's now set this as the default configuration so every time you load up an instance of contact it'll load up this configuration and there are multiple configurations you can create and save inside of contact and recall at any point if you've got any particular preference to how you want your audio out setting up for different libraries now we obviously have quite a few more outputs we can play with um, However, this generally covers most bases. If you need to tweak it, you can. You can have just up to 32 stereo tracks if you want, or you can use nothing but mono tracks, but that would be crazy because a lot of things work in stereo. Now, if you forgot to check the box when saving this as your default configuration, you can just click here and open up the drop-down menu, and you'll have a list of things. So you can save 
this as a preset if you like. You don't have to have it as a default configuration. Uh, however, in this case, we want to set this or save this output section as our default for all formats. You can choose standalone or just the 16 out version if it's an older version of contact, uh, but we're gonna set this for all instances of contact. Now, what we need to do next in order for this to play ball with Cubase is reset the contact instance inside of Cubase. And the only way you can do this so it works is by completely unloading this instrument from the rack. So unload contact from the rack inside of Cubase and then reinsert a new instance of it. So I'm just gonna go here, remove it, and then we're going to add it in again. If you're using an instrument track, just remove the instrument track and create a new one, insert the instance of contact, and voila, you'll see that all of our outputs are now working in the output tab here for Cubase. So we have the 16 stereo outputs and the 16 mono outputs as well. So it's as simple as that when it comes to setting up your configurations. Um, hopefully this won't be too confusing. And again here, just to prove how you do this, I'm gonna create 32 stereo channels and set this as the default configuration. You'll see that now contacts will create 32 stereo outputs. And again, in order for this to work inside of Cubase, I then need to unload the instrument, reload it back in, and then the output configuration will change so I can have 32 stereo outputs as well. On this tutorial useful and it's helped clear up a couple of frustrations when setting the outputs inside a contact and again thank you for taking the time to watch and i'll see you in the next video